Hey everybody, thanks for watching. This is part two of my match against Joe. I'm even par at this point, this is the 10th hole. There used to be a big tree down that left-hand side if you ever played here at El Dorado in Long Beach. And that was an awesome drive. Great tempo there. I still need to work on my takeaway. Basically the very first foot, uh, very first two feet to P1, basically. I'm gonna take away, it needs to be a lot more shut and down the line, but not too bad. Then my monster hybrid, I hit um, off the toe, way to the right. Here's Joe, who I'm playing an 18 hole match against. Joe played uh, college golf in Cincinnati last year, and for his sophomore season, he's gonna be playing at a different college in near San Francisco. So Joe hit a good shot onto the green. He ends up making par in this hole. Joe's four over at the moment, I believe, and I'm even par. I hit a great 60 degree Thank you. out of that rough. Now I'm about seven or eight feet away. Here's Joe, I believe. Yeah, that was for birdie. So that's par for Joe, and this is my chance for birdie. So with this putt, that would put me five up in the match. Or more. I saw Joe later, and uh, he might have been. Might have shot 40. He might have shot 41 on the front. I had him for 40 though. So, all right. So par for 11th hole. This is 365 um, yards. It gets tight up around 290 yards off the tee or something. So, in these conditions with these fairways, nothing to worry about. All right, so that one, I'm working the ball both ways with the driver pretty nicely. So that one was, you could kind of tell, with the a little bit more less active arms through the strike, That's a, that was a, a nice fade that started that red stake you see on the left and then goes through. Then hit it really pure out of, out of that one. It just came up a little short. It's a red pin and a small green. So, oh, look, I'm fixing my divot. Uh, it doesn't get filmed every time, but I do try to fix them every time. Right, so here is a chip just short-sided. So this is a birdie chip. Now normally I would have putted that, but these uh, everything is so wet around here that it would have been pretty grabby there. Now you're not seeing many of Joe's shots because basically uh, Joe had some problems and... Uh, he was pretty out of it by this point. So this is the, the 12th hole. Par three, I hit it a great shot. That's my marker just inside of Joe there. This is Joe for birdie. Rammed it though a little bit. So Joe goes on and makes par from there. And here I am. I'm kind of uh, thinking a lot about practice strokes and whether I should be taking any practice strokes at all. That was nearly a, nearly a birdie. But a good par, I love pars on par threes. You guys know this hole, the 13th hole, and the lucky number 13, there's water down the left. Famously drove it in the water in a horrible match I had against Christo. So thinking about that, I blocked it up the right near the car path, not bad though. Here's Joe. So a uh, good drive, but it kept going right. My ball actually was a pretty good line, but it, it did hit an overhanging branch, and now I need to just try to advance that. And you can see I kind of smothered that one. And then Joe took a nice tempoed shot there. Let me know in the comments what you think about Joe's swing, and if... Um, if you'd like to see more of him on the channel, we, we can do a, a little profile and play another match. All right, so this is me. I have an up and down for a par here. I'm one under par at the moment. And that was too hard. So now, this is why I used to always leave the flag in. Ah, pulled it just a little bit. And want to really take my time on this one for bogey. I don't want to take anything for granted and start letting somebody back in the match. 
Because Joe did make a nice par on that hole. All right, so this is monster hybrid. I'm trying to just, okay, I just made a bogey, bogey, and I want to stop the bleeding. But again, I hit that off the toe. Let's watch this uh, swing again. So, there's something wrong with that. Join me. Yeah, Joe hit it right with me. It's a little further out than I am. And uh, did not hit a good shot there. He's in, he's in that bunker. Here I am. This is about 138 yards. And I was probably the right club, but you guys could see because of that rough, that was an absolute flyer wet grass growing towards the hole so now I'm way now I'm in the back fringe and you can see it's starting just a little bit to get dark and this time I am not chipping I did not have much fringe to negotiate and this is looking good for a long time Hello. Come on. all right surprise birdie all right that puts me back after the bogey that puts me back to one under par for the round through 14 holes Trying to make this second half of the match a little zippier on the editing. That actually was super solid. One of my most solid drives of the day. But I think that might have been an alignment issue. I think I was set up a little closed. And not only was it an alignment issue, that really was poor placement of where I put my tee. Uh, for the shot I wanted to play, I should be teed all the way over to the right. And aiming for the better angle towards the left. Set up on the right, aim towards the left. All right, but I got a really good, it got through those trees and just under him, and uh, had a good lie there, and I hit a seven iron from like 160 yards. But that was uh, too much club, and I hit it pretty far, and you can see it's starting to get a little bit dark, and putting is that when it starts to get dark, I. You know, ball striking is just as fine. Putting becomes very difficult, especially on these uh, Poana greens that have been growing all day and public courses that have all these footprints. But really, it's it's the reeds that are hard. So good stroke by Joe. That's a par. All right, so this is me to save par. So I'm really buckling down. This was my last round with my old ping before I got my ER1 that you guys saw got built uh, by Garen down there, which I haven't played with yet. I'm going to play in the morning with it. All right, so that's a bogey. So I'm back to even par and three more holes to go. Yeah, not a great shot there. Finn and to the right. Not great there. Just kind of jumped out of it. And you guys no! remember that smother shot I hit. You mother... Excuse me. Golly. That smother shot I hit on the other hole, I did the same thing here. I need to get into the rough and work on my punch out recovery shots. So now I have a long putt for a par. Joe's lag putting quite nicely. Uh, today, the day, I'm edited, the day that I edited this, I saw Joe at the golf shop and he actually uh, traded his putter in. So he just got something different. All right, so that's one over. That's a, that's a bogey, and that puts me one over on the round. Two more holes to go. A little lazy on that one uh, there. You guys, Some of you guys have commented in the comments that I need to finish my swing a little bit more. Beautiful sound on that chip. That's the that Tim Yelverton sound that he had. So it was an awesome chip that just was the wrong landing point and that's another bogey so now I'm two over I went from one under to two over very quickly but really I would put that down to putting you got it's uh, the camera is kinda tricky here it makes it seem like it's a lot brighter than it actually is and I'm just not reading the greens well when it gets this dark beautiful drive down the middle all right, so this was a very good driving day. Drove the ball really nicely. All right, try my reactionary golf takeaway here a little bit, to, certainly to make sure that it doesn't go. There's water there in the layup area. All right, so that wasn't a layup though. I was going for the green. Shot. There's a good shot. All right, so I hit it uh, just past pin high, and I'm chipping back at the green. 
extremely dark by this point. Whoa. So, uh, apologize for the greeniness. Nothing I can do about it. So, um, almost total darkness here. Did a big routine, but I did not. I did not uh, make that. All right. So that's uh, 74. I won my match, my 18 hole match, by yeah, maybe uh, four shots. I think. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, here in Long Beach. On March 14th, there is the Be Better Golf School. Also, I want to let you guys know that uh, we had a unfortunate uh, dropout. There was some work situation, and one of our campers from New York and his friend uh, can't make it anymore because he got a uh, gigantic job booked that he can't say no to. So there are two spots available. There are 13 spots total. There's 11 golfers booked in so there's two spots available for our march 11th and 12th golf school in indio so uh if you are interested in snagging up one of those two spots and there's uh, already some people kind of emailing about it so I'll jump on it now email me at bdivorce76 at gmail.com super exciting and if you guys are interested in a be better golf school in your area i'm thinking about maybe doing one in either dallas or new york or virginia or starkville Mississippi. So uh, let me know uh, which one of those places would you be interested in coming to a Be Better Golf School with uh, Tony Lutzak and myself and possibly Jeff Flagg. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Tried to make this video kind of zippy. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Bye.